My wife came to me this morning and asked me if I'd uh, do some duck oven baked beans for dinner tonight. She's got some friends coming over and uh, she wants to do a barbecue. So today we're going to do Dutch oven baked beans and I'm going to do a recipe that I've had in the back of my mind for the last uh, couple of years. So let's see how it turns out. Either I'm going to be a hero or a zero when it comes to this one because I've never done it before and we're going to just see how it turns out. Stand by for a great video. And this would be a good time for you to subscribe to our channel and share it with somebody. With this recipe, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fry up two pounds of uh, fresh ground hamburger. And uh, we're just going to take a few minutes and just fry it up. We want to fry it to where it's, break it up a little bit. Uh, we want to fry it to where it's not pink, but uh, it's not all the way done. That right in between. What we're going to do that is we're going to, we're going to add a little garlic to it. Give it a little bit of flavor. salt and some pepper this is just gonna once we get it all put together this is totally gonna be done uh, with briquettes in the Dutch oven so we're just getting everything prepared We don't want to put any, we have any of this uh, grease in our baked beans, so that's why I'm doing, cooking it in a different skillet. Use an 80-20 hamburger today, uh, so we're going to get quite a bit of renderings off of it. But that seems to have the best flavor for what you're going to do. I want to make sure it's really crumbled up good so it mixes in good with all the other stuff that we're going to put in there. Get that hamburger almost to the point of where I want it. Now we're going to add it to the Dutch oven, make sure there's no grease in it, or very little.
Now we're going to take and add a uh, full cup of bullseye. We're going to add a full cup of bullseye original to this mix. I'm going to take and add a full cup of ketchup to it. I'm going to add two tablespoons of yellow mustard to it. I'm going to have, add three tablespoons of molasses. That's going to be a sticky mess when I get it done. One teaspoon of chili powder. I was thinking maybe white sugar, I'd do the next one in white sugar, but uh, I think I always like using carol syrup better. It calls for, we'll do one cup of it, and these have a line on them so you can tell exactly where the one cup is. I'm going to do one cap full of liquid smoke. And one tightly packed cup of brown sugar. Now we're going to stir that all together. Now here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to add two medium onions that I've already chopped. I'm going to add a can of pinto beans that uh, I've drained them. I'm going to do two cans of great northern beans. Two cans of uh, baby butter beans, or lima beans, whichever you want to use. And, just for good measure, one can of bush beans.
We're going to stir that all together. It's going to make one heck of a big batch. It's all mixed together. Then, just to make give it kind of an earthy, a real, just to give it a real earthy flavor, I'm going to add a half a bottle of beer, six to eight ounces. Then we're going to put bacon on top of it and put plenty on it because it's going to give it that, you're going to have that uh, earthy beer flavor with a little bit of bacon mixed in with it and it should give it a fantastic flavor. And I do about a half a pound. Now we're going to put the lid on. And we'll be ready to uh, set it uh, on the coals. These coals are getting hot. What I'm going to do is put six underneath. I don't want too much heat uh, on the bottom. I don't want to burn them. If it's not cooking, you can always add a few more if you think you need to. But I'm going to give it one more. I'm going to put 18 on top, and uh, I want that bacon. I want, don't want to scorch the bottom. That's why I only put six or seven on the bottom. And I'm going to put 18 on top, and we're going to give it a half an hour and see how it turns out. Save those for later. We may need to put some more on top. But uh, our uh, Dutch oven baked beans are in the oven ready to go. They'll be ready to go in half an hour. It's been about 40 minutes, so uh, let's check our beans and see how they're doing. Well, that's a good-looking pot of baked beans. Uh, just the way I was hoping they'd turn out. That looks like one heck of a good course tonight for my wife. Uh, 